Hi, welcome to the Hack a Day gathering at Heat Sink Labs in Mesa, Arizona. Most of the people are already inside eating pizza. If you're a hacker or you want to be a hacker, you can uh, go to space. Yes, Hack a Day is sending somebody to space. What you have to do is you have to submit your idea, your build, share your material at hackaday.io slash prize. And if it is chosen as the grand prize, you are going to go to space. Imagine going to space for just building something. That is so cool. Let's go inside and visit some of the people that are already building stuff. What are you printing? I'm printing some um, buttons. It's for this key fob that I'm making. So here's the chassis for the key fob. I have some electronics that go in here. And the button assembly will go in here. I'm using flexible PLA so that the buttons will have a a little bit of a gummy feel so that it feels more natural to lock and unlock your car. Jasmine has a few more parts of her key fob deal. Go ahead, Jasmine. Yeah, so the, this, this is the part that actually goes in the car. And um, I wanted to make some LED ring flashes. So this is uh, version one. Um, version two uses Cree LEDs. So then I moved to a completely different approach. These were from the garbage at Walmart. So these are chunks off of disposable cameras. Um, I 3D printed a battery holder. I 3D printed the mount for that. And I piggybacked up just an SCR and a level shifting uh, transistor on. Um, you can 3D print a hot shoe in a face mount. That's the hot shoe, 3D printed? I 3D printed a camera bracket for my uh, bracket here. It attaches this uh, keychain camera I got on eBay. You know, that, that little 3D printed bracket. Right. The this rest is, just, is just off just the shelf. Just standard off the shelf. Thing. And why did you want that? That's a camera. It doesn't come with a camera. I wanted a, a camera, so here's Oh, the, that's a camera. I was going to say, I don't see a camera, but, but yeah, it, there's a camera there. Yeah. That's so tiny. Found that at Walmart and thought it would work really well. It's kind of a joke, mounting this little egg and this laser pointer to the quadcopter, and I have a text-to-speech converter board at home, and I wanted it to be a mobile disco, so it would sing and make little music, and then whatever. You're going to have your own little disco party right little, over your head? Yeah, exactly. No matter where you put it, it's insane. Okay, this is Addie from Toy Makers, Hello. and she has the heart me. Anatomically correct heart, um, and it was my first electronics projects. I'm a cardiovascular surgery nurse during the day and electronics tinkerer by night. And it shows the electrical pathway um, of different rhythms through the heart. So this happens to be normal sinus rhythm, and then with this switch, I can go through a whole bunch of different ones. And then one of our other projects, my other projects, because I like the human body, I'm a nurse, you know, uh, and it's called Drink Me, and it's like a breathalyzer. Sharks! Sharks with freaking lasers on their head! It prints in one piece, and when it pulls off the bed, it does this. Uh, this is a capo for like a guitar to compress the strings. So you don't snap it together, it just prints like that. Exactly. So I'm actually making this Minty Boost kit, uh, which basically allows you to put a battery pack inside of an Altoids tin. I chose this cool Dragon tin instead. And I can basically charge my phone on the go with this setup. Okay, we're with Mohib uh, Zara, and he does 3D printing. And this is the infamous uh, Not a Bomb Box. If you saw that post a long time ago about there being a bomb at ASU, uh, and if you can see, this is, this is the actual content. Uh, a while back, I actually went down to the Tucson Sculpture Festival for their opening. We scanned 45 people, um, and you can see here we got the rotating platform and the linear gantry. It's all foldable. Um, it's all automated, it's got limit switches and some intelligence that so goes up and down by itself and rotates. Carl from ZeroCraft, another hackerspace in Arizona, sent it over to Metal Physics Factory and they had it machined out of styrofoam life size. This was a uh, costumer uh, who had like a fairy costume in it and I was actually really impressed that I was able to get the thin features in the clothing and the wings. And both of these drumsticks at the bottom of them have uh, haptic uh, motors. I have these two sticks tracked by Leap Motion. This one, when you hit it in different zones, it'll vibrate. So if you were blind, you could find out where the tones were um, in the virtual space. 
and when you hit those tones, you use this stick to modulate it, and so you can modulate the frequency. So uh, one of our members, uh, Matt Shepard, has been, uh, you built this all from scratch? Or XY plotters. Yeah, the, uh, I call it a software-defined 6502 computer, uh, which means that the 6502 thinks that it's inside a computer, and the computer is completely defined by the software that runs on the propeller. And it pretty much does whatever a normal computer would do to a 6502 to make it into a computer. So I can make this into an, an old Apple One computer, uh, PET 2001. So this little project is a, uh, it's a ghetto perma proto board. Uh, cut on the laser cutter. Uh, so I can, you know, take my breadboarded projects and then just solder them on the back like it's an actual breadboard, but it's not. 